this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today's demo is using the Brusho inks. First of all, the card that I'm going to be using, it's a very thick matte card. Um, it needs to be a good quality, something that would take a lot of water because uh, we're going to be spraying onto the dry brushos. So secondly, my spray, just a little spray. Um, and then my brushos, which I've just put a hole in the top there just to make it easier to shake because you only need such a tiny little bit and you'll see a whole explosion of colour by adding uh, just a little bit of water. Okay, so moving on, we shall start with a yellow. So just pop in some down there and we'll pick um, some leaf green. Now you only need two or three colours tops. You start using more colours together and they can end up being a bit murky. So um, to keep the colours true, just stick with two or three and you'll get fantastic results. Um, so lastly, I'm going to just put a bit of turquoise there. Make sure your area's covered, plastic sheet or paper, it can get a little bit messy. Uh, as you can see, I've already been working this morning, um, that's my excuse anyway. Um, so right, grabbing your, your water spray, I'm just going to try to tilt this slightly so you can see what's happening um, and spray down. And you can see already these fantastic colours, how they work. And just move it around, making sure that area is completely covered. And when you're happy with what you've got, just put it to the side and leave it to dry for five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to do another one while I'm waiting. It's always good to do a batch all together actually, um, and then you can move on. When, when they're all dry, then you can start stamping, which that's what we'll be doing shortly. Okay, so again, I'm going to be picking, um, I think, a yellow. The yellow and the ultramarine is actually quite a nice combination of colours. And you can see already that it's bringing through a green. So I'm going to move that down the page slightly. And it's just just such a stunning colour. Okay, so again, I'm going to put that to the side, leave that one to dry. And we're going to work with one last one. Um, again, I'm going to do a bit of yellow and a little bit of orange. Now this time I'm going to spray onto the card and then I'm going to add some ultramarine just to show you the effects. Okay, so it needs to be quite wet. Now we're going to just add a few crystals and you can see how explosive the colour is. So again, just move that around, work with it, giving such a atmospheric background. I hope you can see with it me moving them around just what effects you can achieve. Okay, so again I'm going to put that down, let that dry and then we'll be working with the stamping as soon as they're dry. 
Okay, so our brush show backgrounds are now dry. Um, so we need to think about what we want to stamp onto that now. Um, it's always better to uh, decide the composition, obviously, after uh, everything's dry. Uh, you can't actually predict what you want to stamp when you're using brushos because they make their own mind on how they're going to turn out. Okay, so I'm going to stamp with our dandelion fairy. So going, moving back to our uh, Versafine Onyx Black, I'm going to stamp her down onto the brush o card now. Let's make sure she's completely covered. Good press down. And there we go. If you've got any areas at all that, that are just slightly missed, just touch that up. There we go. But you can see the detail in that. Right, because the card's really quite dark, um, I'm going to uh, stamp with um, a Versa mark and use the WOW embossing powders just to show you the effects really. I'm, I'm really quite pleased with how they turn out. Uh, so using one of our flourishes now um, and stamping up in the Versa mark Okay, and we're going to be using the copper sparkle, so simply sprinkle that over the top, shaking that off, and then we'll heat that in just one minute. Okay, so taking the heat gun now, we're just going to set this with the card curls, just heat underneath, even it out, it doesn't take long. As you can see, it's starting to go now. There we go. Now it just, I think it looks just stunning against that blue. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little bit of depth now. We're going to stamp over the top of that. So going back to our Deep Lagoon. Just pop in a few of those about and then our wild flower. Again, inking up in the deep lagoon. I'm just going to pop a few of those about.
like so. And we're going to finish off with some words just in this corner here. So I'm going to stamp off first because I only want just a faint wording over the top there. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the card now with a slightly darker colour. This is um, pine needles. And just by going around the edge there, it, it pulls your picture together. And you can see the embossing powder has actually caught the end of the dandelion that she's holding, but I think that's actually quite nice. Okay, so there's an example, there's our first example of what we can do with our Brusho backgrounds. I hope it gives you um, an idea and inspires you to um, create your own card using the Brusho inks and uh, embossing powders together. I just think they look really nice. Okay, so here's another one of our brush show cards that we did earlier. Um, I'm going to use our fairy stamp, uh, our, our fairy chain this time. So inking up uh, in the Versafine Onyx Black. I'm just going to place that down the bottom there. Give that a nice firm press, take off, and there it is. So we're going to think about what we want to uh, put in the background there. Um, I think probably some mushrooms would be quite nice. So just grab some mushrooms. And this time I'm going to ink up in the Deep Lagoon, the Versafine again. And we're just going to dot a few of those around. So, okay, so we want to ground the fairies now using a torn piece of paper. Simply place that down at the base of the mushrooms and then we'll use our distress inks. This one's pine needles going to use my little blending tool 
and I'm just going to take that over the edge there. like so. But you can see how the brush shows lends itself really well to the backgrounds. Uh, it just looks so magical. Okay, so we're going to use our little blending mat now and we're going to go around the edge of the card just so we can pull the picture together. Going back to the pine needles and then simply just go around the edge of the card. like so. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of uh, sparkle to this. So I'm actually going to use um, the Versamark ink, the clear ink, and then some of the WOW embossing powders. So I'm just going to pop that down there and one here like so and then using our uh, platinum sparkle simply sprinkle that over the top. Now it may catch some of the other areas but don't worry about that, it actually looks quite nice. So, just tap that off and yet yeah, it has its caught some of the other mushrooms and the edge of the fairy. So just pop in that back in there. I'm trying to be organised is very unlike me. Okay. I'm going to heat this up now. Now if it starts curling just heat the other side. I think the uh, sparkle, sparkling embossing powders, uh, even the white embossing powders, I think they look absolutely stunning on the brush card. I think because it's so dark, uh, but try it, do try it. It's, uh, you get an amazing effect. Okay, so that's about cooked now. Just bend that card back a little bit more. And there we have it. I don't know whether you can actually see that glitter, that sparkle there. But I think that just looks really effective. Okay, so here's another card, um, a brush show card that I did earlier actually. Um, I think this colour was um, a, a crimson from the brush show set. So I'm going to stamp up our uh, mushrooms 
in the Onyx Black Versafine. Just placing those down there like so. And then we're going to do another set just here. Okay. Now this time I'm going to use the Wow um, embossing powder called Silent Night. So sprinkling that over the top of the Versafine because I want this to be very, very black. Tapping off. Okay, and then just popping those back into the pot. And then I'm going to heat this. You can see the sparkle already. Heat in the back as well, just to even even it out, stop it curling too much. There we go, it's starting to take, yeah, off it goes there. So that gives us a really nice glittery effect. Okay, so we're going to take our cat now, placing our cat on the block, again stamping in the Versafine and just simply pop our cat. Good press down. Okay. And then we're going to take one of our little mice and just pop that on top of the mushroom. Like so, and our other one. On the top mushroom. Like so. Just a little area there. we've missed on the cat. Because it's a slightly thicker um, coarser card it doesn't stamp quite as well as the super smooth but you do need the thick card to take the brush home. Okay so just taking our little blending mat now we're going to go around the edge of the card this time we're going to use Blueprint Sketch I have to excuse my table rocking a bit here These blending sponges are really fab actually. So easy to use. Okay, so going back to a little bit of torn paper, I just want to ground our cut. Just a little bit of colour there. It's 
so it's not floating in the air. That's just enough. And we'll finish off now and just put some words in the background. So taking some of our word set. And this time I'm going to ink up in the Deep Lagoon. Just stamp off slightly. Take that over the top there. It's just a background filler more than anything. And there we have another card using the brushes and the embossing wow powders. I hope you've enjoyed it and now I'm off to wash my hands.